Good morning! Welcome to Lemon Juice for the Soul. This is our regular vitamin for our soul. This morning, our verses is written in the book of 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 13 and 14. It read, Hold on to the pattern of wholesome teaching you've learned from me, a pattern shaped by the faith and love that you have in Christ Jesus, through the power of the Holy Spirit who lives within us. Carefully guard the precious truth that has been entrusted to you. Carefully guard the precious truth that has been entrusted to you. I heard and read several variations of this story. Some relate it to training bank trailers, some training of treasury agent, and some even told that this is a story of how also they train FBI agents. I don't know which, if any, is true. The story makes a good point, even if none of the stories are true. It is important that a teller or a treasury agent or even an FBI agent be trained to detect counterfeit money. Some are trained to be experts. So they study how, the, how to test the paper, how to test ink, uh, they study how to use micrometer, some even study how to use lights to measure if the item or the bill is real or counterfeit. And then every time a counterfeit is found, they receive updates on the printing errors like scratches, dots, breaks, or break in line, or inconsistent spacing, and so on. It is a long, tedious, never-ending process, but necessary to establish that a bill is a counterfeit in the court of law. Before those studies, each trainee is placed in a room with stacks of money. So he or she will be told to count the money. So he or she spends the day counting dollar bills like ones, fives, tens, twenties, fifties, or hundreds. Hour after hour. So this continues for days. One day, a counterfeit bill is slipped in. So as... He or she still counts 403, 413, 418, 438, 439, 4, and then the counting stops. When he reached the counterfeit, he stops counting. He knows something is wrong. He may not know what is wrong, but he knows something is wrong. He knows that it would not hold up in a court of law. But he knows something is wrong because of the intimate familiarity and that is the key. So he or she will be very familiar. Every day he is holding the real money, the real bill. So when he holds the counterfeit bill, now that's the key, intimate familiarity. So he is familiar with the real thing, that he identifies the counterfeit without even thinking about it. I don't know if this story is true or not, but that's the way we should be with the, with the Bible. That's the way we should be with the truth of God. We should be so familiar with the truth that when we encounter the false, we know it.
Going back to our verse, this is what actually Paul is trying to tell us. Hold on to the pattern of wholesome teaching you learned from me. A pattern shaped by the faith and love that you have in Christ Jesus. Through the power of the Holy Spirit who lives within us, carefully guard the precious truth that has been entrusted to you. Are you familiar with your Bible? If you're not, then you cannot identify if the th- if the thing is true or counterfeit so let us continue reading the bible let us continue to be familiar with the bible familiar with the truth that the bible is teaching so that when we hear a counterfeit we can easily identify it and we can easily guard ourselves even our family against the counterfeit let us pray Heavenly Father, we thank you once again for this opportunity that we can have this devotion. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for this short teaching that reminds us to be always familiar with the truth, to be familiar with our Bible, familiar with our faith, because this will guard us from the counterfeit that goes around. Heavenly Father, once again, we thank you for your Holy Spirit for leading us. And we thank you because you want us. You want us so that you want us to guard ourselves and to guard the truth that comes from you. This is our prayer in Christ's name. Amen and amen. Good morning!